Now, as long as we're in this sort of public service mood, I'd like to mention a social problem we have in this country that a lot of people don't like to talk about in public, but I think it's time we face this thing head on. It exists in a lot of families, though most people won't admit to it. And I'm talking about battered plants. It's plant feeding, pure and simple. There's no way to put a nice face on it, but battered plants is part of a larger problem. As you know, the overall problem is called the battering syndrome. And we've heard mostly about battered wives, and a lot of work has been done in that direction. But then we began to hear that there were battered husbands, too. There are battered husbands. Apparently, this happens when the woman is real big, the man is real small, and they each drink a quart of whiskey a day. <laughs> then we heard that there are other members of the family being abused, battered step-uncles-in-law, battered foster cousins, battered third cousins once removed. In fact, the whole idea of battered distant relatives strikes me as a little strange. To get on a bus and ride for six or seven hours just to beat the shit out of someone you hardly ever see. <laughs> but the problem continued to spread. Battered fiancés. Battered best friends. Battered total strangers. Which I think indicates a short fuse, don't you? And battered blind dates. Which, as many of you know, is so often completely justified. <laughs> But then the problem got a little ugly, and the problem got a little strange. We began to hear about battered pets. Battered pets, that's how I felt. When I first heard of it, I couldn't believe it. I said to myself, what? And I answered, well, yes, apparently so, according to the information. <laughs> I often have these little conversations with myself. I do so love good conversation. But it's true, there are battered pets. This happens when someone gets frustrated at work, comes home, beats the shit out of Fluffy. <laughs> but then the problem got really sick. Then the problem, I don't know. We began to hear about battered plants. Battered plants, I couldn't believe it. I said to myself, I said, what? And I answered, well... Because this time I was speechless. <laughs> but it's true, there are battered plants. And I don't mean just physical abuse. I'm not talking strictly about the physical abuse of plants. I don't mean like drop-kicking some zinnias into the next yard. <laughs> I'm not talking about pistol-whipping a gardenia. I'm not even talking about stopping the car, getting out and pissing on a bush. <laughs> but I am talking about psychological torture. The mental abuse that we put plants through day in and day out. For instance, hanging plants. How do we know they aren't scared shitless up there? No wonder Ivy clings. You'd cling, too, to the side of a building. <laughs> so when you get home tonight, please, take a look around the house. Make sure you haven't put a plant in some corner where it doesn't want to be. And for God's sakes, never, never keep a plant in the bathroom. <laughs> they hate that.